Savitri. Page 215. All on one plan was shaped and standardized under a dark dictatorship's breathless weight. In street and house, in councils and in courts, beings he met who looked like living men and claimed in speech upon high wings of thought, but harbored all that is subhuman, vile, and lower than the lowest reptile's crawl. The reason meant for nearness to the gods and uplift to heavenly scale by the touch of mine. Only enhanced by its enlightening ray, their inborn nature's very monstrosity. Often a familiar visage studying joyfully encountered at some dangerous turn, hoping to recognize a look of light, his vision warned by the spirit's inward eye, discovered suddenly Hill's trademark there, or saw with the inner sense that cannot err, in the semblance of a fair or virile form, the demon and the goblin and the goal, an insolence trained of cold stone-hearted strength, mighty, obeyed, approved by the titan's law. The huge laughter of a Jain cruelty and fierce glad deeds of ogre violence, in that wide scenic den of thinking bees, one looked in vain for a trace of pity or love. There was no touch of sweetness anywhere, but only force and its acolytes, greed and hate. There was no help for suffering, none to save. None dare resist or speak a noble word. Armed with the aegis of tyrannic power, signing the edicts of her dreadful rule, and using blood and torture as a seal, darkness proclaimed her slogans to the world. A servile blinkered silence has the mind, or only it repeated lessons thought, while mitred holding the good shepherd's staff, falsehood enthroned on ode and prostrate hearts, the cults and creeds that organize living death and slay the soul on the altar of a life.